domination situation. He's loading up. How do you like that? Oh no, oh no. Sick fold, just sick stuff. Jax for Stefan Lehner. Raises to 4,000. Round to the blinds, Anton Wick in the small blind. Queen, nine of clubs. Wick decides to three bet from the small. I think it just stacks if you just call a bunch. Yeah. That looks like top set. Oh, wow, but it's also the flush for Wig with a redraw to a street flash. Wig is checked, and Lena probably feels incredibly strong right now. Still plenty of ways to win, but also other hands you get value from at the same time as well that don't. So about a quarter pot, really like this sizing, especially in a three bet pot. Just a call from Anton. Wig now a three to one favorite. Sized up on the turn, makes it 35,000. Anton calls, going to the river. Deuce of diamonds, doesn't change anything. Checks it back over to Laner. All in, and a call, and it all happened on the flop. Absolutely <coughs> savage stuff. To Anton Wig in the small blind, 10-8 of hearts. Goes for the shove. A little surprised he didn't put in sort of most of his stack in the case of maybe wanting to try to catch that pay jump and tanking a bit. Ooh. There is the call, and it is a domination yeah. situation. Anton Wig at risk and way behind. Here comes the flop, Ooh. which does give Anton Wig a straight draw. He's now got sevens and eights working for him. You know what they say. It's always coming hard. <laughs> yes. It's always coming hard for the sweat. We do get a heart for the sweat. That's, that's fair. <laughs> 13 <laughs> outs for Anton Wig. Willie MacGyver this. Obviously, Seven. eight's no good anymore, but hearts Jack. and sevens, they all work. Heart. It's the six of hearts. That's a flush for Anton Wig, and he survives. Muted celebration. Class act. <laughs> <laughs> so Anton Wig re-raising here after Bodnov opened in the hijack with King Ten of Diamonds. Wig. Pretty strong here with tens. This is tough. I mean, theoretically, you're probably going to want to defend King Ten suited here in position. Uh, sorry. Oh, you're out of position now as well. Sorry. Hijack first button. But um, I think generally speaking, you know, you're supposed to you're supposed to defend here, um, especially against the player three bidding in position. Ten, and nine, four. Wow. Oh no. Case no. ten on the flop neck. Bodanov thinking top pair. Decent kicker. I'm golden, but wig with top set. Yeah, and with 23 big blinds in a three bet pot, James, you're just not you're just not gonna get away from it. Honestly, he could just raise and get it in right now, James. It feels like one of those boards. Yeah, after this continuation bet of 75,000, Anton Wick has fewer than 20 big blinds left. Okay, deep enough just for the flat. Eight of clubs in the turn. Not the best card for Wig here. Obviously quite coordinated, complete some straights and flushes. Check, check. On the river, deuce of spades. And I think at this point, Wig knows he probably has best. I don't think your opponent would miss the opportunity to bet straight and or flush turn. Here comes the lead from Bodnov. Yeah, and it's tiny, James. It's Lock so up. tiny. It's just over the one big. And I don't think you would ever in a million years do this with a flush or a straight unless you had some super high level read where you were trying to induce. I think we might even see a raise from Wig here. He's gotta be really, really confused by that small size. Put yourself in Badenov shoes. You've got Queen Jack of clubs, Queen Jack of diamonds. You've got 10-9 suited. You've got, you know, something in, of that ilk. 
Yeah, exactly. It's just you're never going to find that size, right? In a three-bet pot, you're thinking there's a ton of stuff that pays me off here, so I'm going to go for max. And as a result of that, it's not a spot where you have a ton of, like, small bet with induce, but the intention to induce makes the right fold, though. Nice, Nicely done from Badanov. Yeah, it actually loses the minimum in the end, so, you know, kudos for that. King Queen suited. How do you like that? I like it a lot. We do. We like it a lot. Bottom off with two sixes. You're going to be wanting to mix in some calls in this spot. You're not just set mining. You're, you know, it's a pretty strong hand, those sixes. You got ultimate position. Ultimate position. The dealer button. Bartanian's out in the big blind. Action is closed. We got a fair fight here. Let's get some percentages. Still oh, wow. a Stormy pulling the chips in. That's a, those are some blocker numbers right there. There must have been some kings and queens that went by the wayside. And believe it or not, no kings or queens have appeared on this flop. The equity 466 goes up significantly. It has gone check, check. Three of spades on the turn. No one improves, but. It feels like you improved with two sixes here when the three peels off on the turn. Yeah, and now we see a big size from Anton Wig, and I think that's designed to really scare off, you know, hands like an ace, ten of hearts, ones that's like technically ahead but won't really be able to continue against action. Ooh! That is not a brick. That is what we call a gut <laughs> shot to the nuts. It's more than that now. It's just the straight up nuts. 450. Ooh. Big daddy chip. Goes polarizing. And not even a thought from Badenov. Sick fold. Just sick stuff. Pocket Kings for Anton Wegg starts the hand around 50 bigs. Raises to 50k. We've still got 14 minutes of the 10k, 25k blind level to run out. Uh-oh. He's queen suited. Yeah, and Goryachev making a pretty committing three bet here, Nick. Yeah, 160 and 455 back. Given the positioning, there's an opportunity to actually flat with the kings here. 18 big blinds behind for Goryachev and Wig in position. Flatting feels fantastic, but never mind. I was going to say there's always an ace on the desk, but this time king high board, absolutely stunning for Wig. For Goryachev's sake, I hope there isn't now an ace on the desk. Yeah, that would be, that would spell disaster. 114. Oh, Goryachev, no. Yeah, I mean, I would argue that this is probably a little bit too big. Um, and also, Goryachev being so short, it's such a massive chunk of his stack. And Wig's just having the best time ever, James. Just flat and just, this is the stuff that dreams are made of here at the APT. Oh, that queen on the turn does give Goryachev some equity and could get him into trouble. So he has 12 bigs behind. He's turned second pair. He's loading up. Uh, imagine that uh, Wig defends Jack-10 here on the uh, pre-flop. Oh, no. Oh, no. Decides to move all in, gets snap called, and is drawing dead. We are going to be losing the Akaslav Goryachev. He will be our 23rd place finisher. I can confirm that he did make the money jump, however, and will be cashing for 32700 and $25. Yeah, pretty big misstep here. Thanks for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe for more awesome poker content. And check out this video. The YouTube algorithm seems confident you'll like it.